So, so today we're going to be talking about attributes and HTML attributes on both components in the form of props or in the form of uh, static or standard HTML elements such as images, divs, spans, whatever. This applies to all of them. So it was pointed out to me um, <coughs> by someone on Twitter that at the end of my last video uh, it didn't actually work as expected um, and I'm not ashamed I've brought up the code once again to demonstrate how this is true. So we're on the home page um, here and you can see there's a h1 welcome to my site and then we include new component and we pass in a prop of name with the value of Alan. Uh, up here is the new component um, which you can see is just a h1 which says hello name and if name is not defined it falls back to a default of Mike. So looking at this code you would expect the homepage component to say hello welcome to my site hello Alan but over here in the browser you can see it clearly says hello Mike. This is a mix-up on my behalf with regards to um, variable and static attributes and props. So you can see just on this name here it's got a colon in front of it and the colon is uh, short for vbind. vbind tells view that whatever the, whatever the value of the attribute is, is it should be dynamic, it should be a JavaScript variable or a JavaScript um, argument, function, something like that. And Alan is actually not. Alan is a string and Alan is not defined as anything anywhere on my in my application. And in fact, opening up um, the inspector, the Chrome inspector, uh, shows that there is actually a view warning on this homepage of the method Alan, property or method Alan, is not defined. And had I looked at the console, I would have realized this. So to go back to the start, if we wanted just to pass in a string, we don't need to do anything except give our attribute the correct name. So we've got name equals Alan, pressing this, we actually get Alan. If we wanted to use a variable for Alan, um, so for example on here, if we add a data uh, on components, the data object should always be a function, uh, more on that in another video. If we wanted uh, the name of our new component on our homepage to be dynamic, obviously I'm now going to fix it elsewhere in the co component, but this could be the result of a computed function, this could be the result of a method. Um, we can make a, of course, because it's a function, because it's a function, it needs to return an object. Um, new name, we could put Dave in here, then that classic name of Dave. Um, so what we can do now is we can pass in new name. But what we're going to get over here in the browser is it's literally going to output new name. And that's because, as far as it is concerned, name equals new name. To make it equal our variable, we need to tell it that it is dynamic. So for that, we can use vbind, colon, name equals new name. Press a refresh in the browser, we get hello Dave, because new name refers to the data object. Vbind can be quite tedious to keep writing. So in, in the view world, you can just have a colon of name and uh, that now tells it that that is JavaScript. What that does mean is if we want to pass in a string along with our variable, we have to escape it within single quotes and use a plus like we would if we were doing it anywhere else in JavaScript. Um, so if we were to put doctor, we suddenly get in the browser, Dr. Dave. This with the vbind or with the colon, this becomes pure JavaScript. Uh, so you can do all sorts of calculations, multiplications, etc., etc. 
but it's advised to abstract that all out into your component and the template should just be literally outputting variables, maybe with some very slight modifications. This uh, kind of attribute uh, binding and sort of static stands for all attributes when using view. So uh, for example, if we had an image We could do a standard image source if we wanted to use a uh, fixed string like we were building a standard HTML page. If we wanted that to be dynamic, uh, we can store it as a string in our data object um, and in here pass in image. We then need to tell view that this is a dynamic uh, attribute so we can add a colon in front of it and there we get the same image uh, variable uh, even though it's stored elsewhere on the component. So to uh, reiterate if you're using JavaScript inside of your attributes which I can imagine you will be doing a lot don't forget your colon um, however if it's just a fixed string uh, don't forget to take it away. I hope that clears that up um, if you are a fan of this kind of video, just let me know, um, give it a thumbs up or subscribe because I'm going to try and put out a few of these over the next few months here and there, little quick tips and if you've got any requests just drop me a message, a tweet or find me somehow. Thank you very much.